Hello and welcome back to this series on Streamlit and Python, all for anyone who's interested in developing apps. In the last video, we looked at something called the session state, and I showed you how you could use the session state to store a variable outside of a, a rerun so that you could allow a user to kind of more dynamically engage with data. In this video, we're going to take the app that we developed in the last video, and if you noticed in the last video, I pointed out that we had a major problem. We didn't like the fact that our counter that was being written was always being written right here, kind of clunky. If we rerun the app, clear the cache, and rerun the app, we'll notice that there's a space here, and we, what we want in this scenario is for this counter button or information to be displayed up here above the button. However, we have a problem. We cannot do that without using something called a container because when the app is rerun, it's going to write. And because the, um, the ST write call is happening right here after the other button is created, but before this button is, is developed, uh, it's placing it sequentially. So button one, uh, the ST right, and then our second button right here. This is where the container comes into play. A container is a way to have something in a earlier part of your script that is going to be populated later in the script. So let's go ahead and demo and demonstrate this right now. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit since we don't need these anymore. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to call this main container. We're going to make that equal to st.beta container and this container there we go and this is going to allow us to actually create a container now if we just run this app right now we'll notice that nothing's actually changed and the reason for this is because we are still writing in the main app but like everything else in streamlit it's all stacked so in order to actually write in the main container we can do main underscore container dot write let's rerun it and see what happens now notice now that the data is being populated up above and this is because the main container sits higher in the script. If we were to put it lower and we were to rerun this, we would notice that the exact opposite would happen. But the main problem you're having now is that the button is not able to identify what main container is because main container becomes lower in the script. Now for this to be resolved, you could do something like create a function. But for right now, we're not going to worry about that. By using the container, you're able to do things later in a script and manipulate a variable that can be populated up earlier in the script. This allows for you to place things in more dynamic ways throughout your app. I encourage you to spend a little bit of time playing with a container. You'll find that it's very, very useful for certain situations. That's going to be all for this video, though. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on Streamlit containers and have a better sense of how to use them in your apps. <clears throat> If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below. And as always, thank you so much to my Patreon supporters who make this channel possible. If you want to support the channel via Patreon, please check out the link in the description down below.